Right, I'm going to do a video of just changing the switch. Obviously I'm going to choose the easiest one for this. So to get in here, there's like a bracket on the back. But well, yours will be different anyway, so it's a waste of time really sharing you, but like a bracket on the back, you just undo it and it's just bolts, just three screws and that bolts to the top there. And then undo this front panel, which was three screws underneath. That comes down. And then you get to the two these two bolts here. And then the hob pulls free, the ceramic hob pulls free, giving you just enough room to get into your switches. It's all the same principle. I've always I've already took one screw out. Hard one handed. That's it. Right, I'll just uh, leave the indicator lamp connected if there is one. Pull that through, then you ain't got to worry about them wires. Flip it over, take a picture of it, and then write it down. Like here, I'll put the double brown is P1, red, two, blue is P2. And carry on. If you get two of the same colours, I'll just get a marker pen and I'll uh, put a black mark on it, and then I'll just put red with black goes to number four. And there's another one down here, brown with black pen mark S2. So that's it, really. No point in me pulling all them wires off just to show you. So, as long as you know which one wire goes where, they're all numbered, they're all coloured, and if you get a double one, just mark it with a bit of black, then you know it's got to go. Obviously, it's the second red and the second brown. And that's it. Easy job.